the difference does for you. Why be beat? Drink a bite to eat. Add ten to and four. You always want more, more, more. Not a cola. No, not a cola. But a blend of deep fruit flavors. The Dr. Pepper Snapple Group brand audit is a systematic way to critically examine the current brand portfolio and to identify problems and issues that merit further analysis and responsive programs. Within this brand audit is a comprehensive profile of how Dr. Pepper and some of its Coke products are marketed and branded. More specifically, the brand inventory serves as an assessment of the health of the brand and its sources of brand equity from the company's perspective. Because Dr. Pepper is a talented brand in the beverage industry, the company must make more diligent efforts to maintain or recapture points of differentiation and energy, without which a branded offering will be vulnerable. Overall, Dr. Pepper has done an excellent job branding its products in its geographic region. Given the analysis of the brand audit, Dr. Pepper will likely continue to experience continued success and growth. However, the brand will continue to compete closely with Coca-Cola and Pepsi, even as it markets itself as a non-cola. From the invention of the first soft drink more than 200 years ago to some of the industry's most beloved beverage brands, Dr. Pepper has a proud legacy of innovation, bold and distinct flavors, and entrepreneurial spirit. One of North America's leading refreshing beverage companies, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, markets more than 50 brands of carbonated soft drinks, juices, teas, mixers, waters, and other premium beverages. The company's strategy, brands and people have made it a strong, sustainable, and profitable business. The company's integrated business model enables the company to manage the entire value chain from innovation to the store shelf. Dr. Pepper has been making efforts to create a healthier brand image that highlights America's health and wellness by heavily promoting its line of reduced calorie beverages, smaller sizes, and improving nutrition. Meanwhile, Dr. Pepper uses its prestigious and timeless image to its advantage to fulfill consumer psychological and social needs. Dr. Pepper is working to improve environmental sustainability, supporting charitable and philanthropic efforts, and promoting diversity in the workplace. Brand elements including the Dr. Pepper brand name, logos, symbols, slogans, spokespersons, and packaging work together simultaneously to make Dr. Pepper stand apart from its competitors. Dr. Pepper has gone through an evolution of marketing icons and slogans to attract consumers' attention throughout the decades. These are all very important to a company like Dr. Pepper, and they even have a guide on how the brand's data should be managed. Let's check it out. Once original, always original. From the day we were born at the Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore Soda Fountain in Waco, Texas, we were different. That was 1885, the year they gave America hot dogs and ice cream cones. More than a century later, we're bigger than ever and still original. Being original, we've always been in style and we've always appealed to a hip crowd. People who love us are fun, independent, and sociable. They live life to the fullest. Our brand is just like that. Confident, friendly, genuine, and cool. The goal, our challenge, is to make sure our image is cool with our fans. And this is what they said. So, you're still crazy about us, right? Yeah, you're the original. Yeah, you're authentic. You're cool. We couldn't be more satisfied. But there is one thing. It's your look. Oh? Yeah, we think you should look as bold, refreshing, and unique on the outside as you are on the inside. So our package should be as exciting, invigorating, and distinctive as we are? You, you got, got it. it! That's how it all started. Consumers said we needed to update our image. They even told us what they wanted, which made our job easy. So we're introducing a new contemporary look that plays up our heritage, authenticity, and rich, flavorful taste. 
That's the kind of brand building you can bottle. And here it is, a brand new look for the first American soft drink. Our logo is a dynamic new symbol that is ownable, memorable, and preferred by consumers. Consumers tell us the Dr. Pepper experience is more involving, more engaging, more complex than all other soft drinks. That's because our unique blend of 23 flavors, more than any other soft drink, creates our famous bold, rich taste. It's what sets us apart. And that's why it's a critical part of our new logo. All Dr. Pepper products share key qualities. They're unique, genuine, indulgent, and based on our signature flavor blend. Therefore, all products are prominently tied together by the new Dr. Pepper logo. Plus, the bubble imagery makes an ideal vehicle for secondary communication, such as diet or berries and cream. The new Dr. Pepper Icon bottle was designed to reflect the same qualities as our graphics. The higher shoulder on our bottle is more modern. It's embossed with our new DP Icon surrounded by a spiral, which echoes the feel of our logo and unique blend of flavors and consumers prefer it nearly five to one over the existing bottle. Everything about our new look, from the bottle to the graphics, was inspired by consumers. We kept what they wanted, an authentic link to the past while adding some modern elements to create something noticeably and uniquely different. The new look reflects our rich heritage and provides a contemporary feel. The new look outscored the existing one on all key measures that drive consumer sales. The new packaging catches consumers' attention faster and separates Dr. Pepper from other soft drinks. New graphics and a new bottle, both preferred by consumers. Together, it's bound to be a success. In the past, rather than employing celebrities to promote his products, Dr. Pepper used real people with real stories to create a more personalized brand image to consumers. Dr. Pepper freshened up its image by associating itself with young, hip, emerging, and established artists like Beyonce and Justin Bieber. Recently, Dr. Pepper has roped in several celebrities nationally to promote its brand, including Marine 5 and Pitbull. Dr. Pepper uses YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to reach its loyal fan base and to try to interact with them. With almost 13 million Facebook fans, Dr. Pepper has a lot of extra marketing power to push its message. The Hispanic marketplace is exploding, and it's time for the Dr. Pepper conglomerate to wake up and smell the Latino coffee. Recently, the company has been targeting Hispanics and millennials in its advertising campaign. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Hispanics will account for 19% of the U.S. population by 2020. Dr. Pepper Snapple's business is growing rapidly in Latin America with successful brands like Peña Fiel. The millennial demographic represents the generation of people who were born between 1981 and 1996. Nielsen, a global information and measurement company, estimates that this highly influential group represents 24% of the U.S. population. Other companies catering to this young, tech-savvy group with their brands, packaging, and campaigns include Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Monster Beverage Corporation. With the acquisition of Buy Brands in early 2017 for $1.7 billion, the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group have solidified their stake in several emerging and fast-growing beverage categories. By including the maker of fruit-flavored antioxidant-infused beverages in a bid to attract health-focused consumers. This deal is Dr. Pepper's attempt to entice consumers who are shunning sugary drinks. While per capita soda consumption in the U.S. found a three-decade low in 2015, beverage makers whose products don't include sugar or artificial sweeteners have found opportunities to grow. In the next year, Buy Brands is projected to generate $425 million in net sales. 
Dr. Pepper is modeled by the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group and other third-party companies, and surprisingly, such competitors as Coca-Cola and Pepsi. This is because at one time the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group did not have a complete network of bottlers and distributors. Dr. Pepper, for much of its history, was a delicious drink found only in the South and Southwest. With a large head start, Coca-Cola and Pepsi built a national distribution network of independent bottlers who had exclusive licensing to convert their syrups into colas. It was extremely difficult for Dr. Pepper to break into new markets with this barrier set against it. Their fortunes changed in 1963, however, when a federal court ruled that the unique flavor of Dr. Pepper meant it was not a cola product, leaving the independent bottlers free to distribute Dr. Pepper without breaching their contracts with Coke and Pepsi. Within a few years, Dr. Pepper was available everywhere. Currently, the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group has 23 manufacturing and bottling plants in North America and now is almost entirely independent in the distribution of their products, including, of course, Dr. Pepper. By staying focused on their key priorities, building the brand, and driving rapid continuous improvement across the organization, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group delivered a strong performance in 2016. They continued to outperform the carbonated soft drink category and grew both dollar and volume share in carbonated soft drinks. Dr. Pepper grew or how did By staying focused on their key priorities, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group derived its revenues from the sale of carbonated soft drinks and non carbonated beverages like ready to drink tea, juices, and mixers. The company's business is organized into the following three categories. Package Beverages Segment, Beverage Concentrate Segment, and Latin America Beverages Segment. Dr. Pepper's revenue was $6.51 billion for the fiscal year ending December 2016. Dr. Pepper trades on the New York Stock Exchange and most recently opened at $86.32 per share on November 10th of this year. By the end of 2016, Net sales for Dr. Pepper were $6.5 million, up 4% from 2015. An annualized total shareholder return was $905 million, up 22% from the previous year. In an industry highly dominated by Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Dr. Pepper Snapple has rapidly emerged as the third largest soft drink maker in the United States. Coke and Pepsi have a presence in more than 200 countries and own strong brands that enjoy huge popularity around the world. In addition to the two behemoths, the company also competes with Nestle, Kraft Foods, Campbell Soup, and Monster Beverage Corporation. If the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group can increase its advertising budget for its flagship brand, Dr. Pepper, and many of its other major brands, recruit relevant celebrity spokespersons, refine its international distribution strategies, and increase its presence in high-margin channels such as social media, convenience stores, vending machines, and small independent retail outlets, then it can remain a market force. Dr. Pepper and its sub-brands continue to enjoy a great deal of popularity in American culture. Undoubtedly, they will continue to entertain us for years with their original characters, trendy slogans, and iconic logos. So there you have it. Advertising reflects consumer values and taste, and Dr. Pepper is managing to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to meeting our expectations. My name is Douglas Martinez, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and thank you for watching.